Hey everybody here, Kevin Colley here, the Sports Information Director of River States Conference, uh, talking today with Shawnee State men's soccer coach Stan Rodriguez. Uh, coach Rodriguez, great to have you on campus, you. Um, at, coming in from Independence, Oregon, um, and taking over the helm of the men's soccer program. What does that mean to you to be given this opportunity to take the helm of the program? You know, it's funny, I've known of Shawnee State uh, from a few years ago when I was at other programs, and I actually sent a couple players from my previous JUCO program over here. So there was a lot of positivity. They've always told me they had a great experience. Um, coming in and taking it over, I, I, honestly, uh, taking it over I think is a little strong. I came in to kind of ebb and flow and uh, let my um, my tendencies start to kind of come into play. So I will say that I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of the opportunity. Uh, the team is just a great bunch of players. I'm really excited to be with them. Uh, I think the administration here has been amazing and open. Um, and I like hearing a lot more yeses than maybe the other answer that I don't want to say. Um, so it's been a lot of positivities, and everybody here has been great. Um, what style of play are you planning to bring to the men's soccer program at Shawnee State? I know you like quick, fast yeah. pace play. Uh, you know, I like pressure. Uh, I think I like playing a controlled chaos. Uh, I like causing chaos. Um, you know, there's a, there's a term that we use in California. One of my mentors used to say, we play to disrupt. And I think that's very important that we do that. Um, but at the same time, that I let the kids kind of do what they do best. They're all creative players. I want them to have freedom to enjoy their game and their football um, and just play within the guidelines that I try to set, um, not to confuse them. Um, and again, just to find joy and within that joy, a drive to win. And, and that's all I can ask them to do is I need them to want to win. And if we do, we do. And then other times we go back to the drawing board and move on to the next. Um, and then conference-wise, you know, Ryan and West Virginia Tech head up the pole, but the conference as a whole has always been very competitive and you can't sleep on anybody from top to bottom. So what's your overall expectations kind of going in from a conference standpoint, you know, who's a threat and, and the layout? Well, obviously, I mean, I, I think the history of all these programs has, speak for themselves. I mean, a lot of them have many strengths. Obviously, the ones that you mentioned uh, have been carrying the conference for the last couple of years. I mean, we were picked preseason in the fourth spot. Um, I think that's a fair spot right now, but I also believe that we can do better. And I also know that preseason polls some days don't really carry a lot of weight in the end, and it's not really how you start, it's where you finish. Um, I'm excited to play these teams. Uh, you know, I've seen these teams for years. Uh, I used to recruit from these teams when kids are transferred, I used to get some. So I'm really familiar with what we're going to face. Um, my job is to motivate and get the guys prepared to face those things and those challenges, and I hope we can have some success to build more momentum moving forward. Um, I'm proud to play those teams. I'm grateful to play those teams. I'd rather be in a conference that it carries a lot of weight than conferences that don't. Um, then I'll go ahead and just add a follow-up to this. Uh, you guys scrimmaged Union Commonwealth uh, down in Union, Kentucky. Great team. Won 15 games last year, and you guys just lost by a goal. Um, you, you have to be proud. I know there's things we talked about that you want to work on and, and get better at, but have to be proud of the fight that your guys showed so early against a good team. Oh, absolutely. I mean, listen, I didn't choose this preseason. Um, I think it's a heavy preseason, and I think it's positive in a lot of ways to kind of get the bugs out quick. Um, you have to sink or swim. I think that game was a good example of, uh, you know, how we started was a little slow, but how we ended was very quick and fast paced. Um, I think we gave them a heck of a game, and I think we can continue that all year, and I think games will fall our way more so than that one that did it towards the very, very end. And, uh, you know, you lose by a PK, there's not much you can say about that. Uh, I'm not going to disagree with the call. Um, I think that we could have done a better job put away a couple more ourselves. Here with two of our most trusted leaders, Nico and Bello. Guys, great to have you on. Um, Bello, you know, what does it mean to have Coach Rodriguez leading you guys in 2024 in his first year here? It means a lot to us. I think the men's soccer program needed a change, and Coach Rodriguez is bringing exactly what we need, uh, which is experience, all the experience he had in his previous jobs, and all the new ideas. We can also see that he's a very hard worker, and that definitely motivates us to do a great season. Um, for both of you, you guys, you know, were six, eight, and four last year, but then over the last eleven games, you all went five, three, and three, um, finishing the season on a high note. And then now you brought your a good portion of your core back from that group. Um, what's the mindset like as you guys prepare to build on what you finished last year? You know, finishing strong last season gave us momentum. Um, with our core group back, we're excited to to build on that success. Our mindset is to keep that momentum going, to improve our game, and work together to achieve our goals. Like Nico said, we had a very strong foundation. We kept this foundation. We brought exceptional players in, 
and an incredible coach as well. So the mindset is pretty good for this season. I'm excited. Um, lastly, um, Nikos Ryo and West Virginia Tech head the poll, but you know, the RSC is certainly a conference where you can't sleep on anybody that's playing from top to bottom. So kind of what are your expectations from a conference standpoint? You know, River State Conference is it's a tough conference. Anyone can beat anyone on any given day. Um, so our expectations for 24 season is to be competitive on every single game. Also to fight for a top spot in the conference and our main goal is to win the tournament. It won't be easy but we're ready for this challenge.